All right, one day at a time. So by induction, we, if we're doing induction, we need an induction statement, right? So the induction statement will be, so S of I in induction is some statement that for every integer I is either true or false, right? And our goal is to prove that S of I is true for every integer I. And so right, S of I could be, it, it rains on the ninth day, right? There's there's days, and uh, here some s's are true and some s's are false, right? And our goal, our f, is going to be that uh, the the loop the algorithm maintains the loop invariant. Um, you know, you can either have it be at the i iteration or the first i iteration. Doesn't matter which, right? Really, really, I might change this. It's my point is that it's the, the loop invariant is true at the ith iteration. All right, and then we want to prove that it's always true, right? At least until you exit. Everybody good with this? Right? There are an infinite number of i's. How do you prove them all? Induction, right? Everybody remember induction? This is a here's just a math statement, right? Says that if you assume if x if you know that x is true for zero, and for every integer you know that if it's true for i minus one, then it's true for i. Then by magic, it's true. It's true for all i. Right? And you might think, do we know for sure that the induction thing is true? That yeah, you think it's true, but really. It's a statement about the integer, right? Suppose we had the integers and I threw in a new number, uh, let's call it infinity, that's bigger than every other number. And suppose f is true for all the integers, but it's not true for infinity, right? Then we would have this is true and we'd have this is true, but we wouldn't have this is true because it's not true for infinity, right? So kind of what this statement is, is that there are no infinities. That there's just one, two, three of the numbers you get to, right? Anyway, we're gonna assume induction is true. And, uh, right, so how do we prove S of zero is true? Is we have to prove that when you have an iterated at any time, that it's true, right? That's how you prove S of zero. And then how, we're going to prove this. We're going to prove for every i, if it's true for i minus one, then it's true for i, right? So how do you do that? Well, when I do logic, I don't think I recommend that. If I want to prove for all i, what do I do? Why do I set up if i i value? What i value do I give it? An arbitrary value, right? I like to take some adversary gives me this i, right? Let i be an arbitrary value, right? And then I'm at the top of the loop. And what's true about my data structure? Again, it's arbitrary. The only thing I know about the about the data structure is that the loop invariant is true, right? I have some i, I've gone around some number of i times. I don't know what's true other than the loop invariant is true, right? I do this code, I come around, and then the loop invariant will be true the next time. Right, everybody buy that? Um, all right, oh, this is my game. All right, so if you took logic from me, you would see for all i, so the adversary says, give me an arbitrary i. Right? And then we're assuming S of I minus one. So to assume it, I like to pretend I have an oracle that's going to help me know that that's true. Right? And then the prover is going to have to prove S of I. Right? Does that make sense? And, um, and then, then we get that thing over there. Um, 
this is this is just why can we conclude it? You know, it, it, it's just a review of of induction, right? Uh, let's, let's move this thing here so we can read what we're writing. All right, we're going to color them. We're going to color them green when we know they're true, right? So how, what our goal is to prove that they're all green, right? And what are we doing here? Well, um, first, the, or, the, the guy that the Google Live proves that S is 1 is true or S is 0 is true. Somehow we, we get S is 0 is true. And then because zero is true, one's true. And because one's true, two's true, two's true, three true. Right, everybody remember this? I had these slides because I made them for logic, so I just gave them to you. All right. So we did this already, I think. I think we're, this is just going through this. We don't need to go through these steps again, right? Everybody got these steps? I think we're good. All right, it's now 17 after, which gives us three minutes. Anything anybody wants to do for three minutes? Everybody happy? Please be okay with this part. We want to run the screen. Hopefully not. All right, then we'll see you here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow is Friday. Absolutely not. Sorry, good question. Everybody hear that? I was away from cottage and I drove down to see you and I'm driving back to the cottage. So no, I'll be back here on Monday. Hmm? No. Tutorials are not, nothing is, nothing in life is mandatory. There's no need to talk to you have to you have to pass the exam. <laughs>